I've been meaning to do this video for a while. It's a two-part video. It's top 10 worst comic book movie castings, and then the following Tuesday, I will release top 10 best comic book movie castings. And I uh, recorded both of them, and when I went back to edit them, the sound was gone. Like, it was nowhere to be found. So I was like, what the heck? So here I am recording it again. Number 10, Ryan Reynolds as Green Lantern. Everybody loves Ryan Reynolds. He's a good-looking guy. He's hilarious. Love him as Deadpool and, you know, the now Deadpool, not old Deadpool. I just, I don't know. I, I don't know a lot about Green Lantern. I don't know a lot about Hal Jordan, but my brother, he loves Green Lantern and all that good stuff. And from what he tells me about the Green Lanterns and from what I know, he doesn't really act like Hal Jordan. He seems more of just, he seems more goofy than Hal Jordan should, than, from what I've seen of Hal Jordan, I feel like. And then, you know, the CGI was just... Like, the movie plot, everything, I mean, it, the movie was terrible itself, but Ryan Reynolds didn't help it at all either. He just sort of went with what they were saying. I mean, I understand you got to do that, but, like, he could have, I don't know, he could have done something better. Or he could have just, you know, left and made someone else die down with that. But, number nine, Eric Bana as Hulk slash Bruce Banner back in 2003, the, what's his name? Something Lee, right? Gosh, I know his name. Anyways, uh, that Hulk movie was terrible. Every time Bruce Banner and that would get angry, Eric Banner, who plays him, it looks like he's trying to take a shit, but he can't. He's super constipated. He's always like, you know, he's making the weirdest noises. And it's just, no. And, like, he's always, you know, doing the you won't like me when I'm angry. But, like, I don't like him ever. So... <laughs> He just, his acting's terrible. Everybody's acting in that movie's terrible. But, I mean, the main character should at least be decent. He's terrible. The Hulk CGI looks terrible. Just, Eric Banner, come on, dude. You're just a terrible Bruce Banner. Edward Norton is my favorite. Mark Ruffalo, he's good. But, I know, a lot of people hate on me for saying that. But, either way, it's Edward Norton for me. Eric Banner was terrible. Just terrible. Lou Ferrigno and uh, Eric Bixby did better than him. Number eight, Ben Affleck does... Ben Affleck is Daredevil. I don't know. I feel like I said that weird. His costume is terrible. That weird leather. Uh, I couldn't take him seriously. I didn't think he played a very convincing blind. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. His chemistry with Electro was very, I don't know, odd. I mean, I understand that him and uh, Jennifer Garner got together in real life. I think that they divorced. I don't know. Either way, I just feel like in the movie, their chemistry didn't really flow. And they... He wasn't a good daredevil. He Everything looked so fake. And he just... I don't know. I've only seen Ben Affleck in a few things. I like him as Batman. But he just... That's why I was terrified when we were announced that he was going to be Batman at first. Because I was scared. I thought he was going to destroy it like he did Daredevil. And I mean, Daredevil alone isn't a good movie either. But it's just... His acting in that wasn't good. I didn't believe that he was a blind guy who's... Uh, senses were heightened and whatnot, and he was he was whiny. I feel like also Eric Bana was very whiny too, but I feel like his his Daredevil was very whiny. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Number seven, Jesse Eisenberg is Lex Luthor. Now a lot of people tell me it's Lex Luthor Jr. and it's his son. If that's the case, then I guess I'll let him pass. But either way, I'm looking at him as Lex Luthor, the one I know. I understand Lex Luthor has had hair and has had red hair, so that's fine. You got that. I've never seen a Lex Luthor that young, but again, I don't really get into Superman very much, so I don't know too much about that. But I know Lex Luthor's a very serious businessman who runs for president, runs for mayor, governor, etc., and he's always trying to be in charge of things. But Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor was just terrible and goofy, and he was just too much in his noises. He was always, yep, oh, oh, oh. Mm. okay, mm. nope, that's, ah, that's not, oh, all right. And when he would t took the Jolly Rancher, you know, and was like, no, no, it's, it's cherry. Like, no, that's just, it made me uncomfortable watching the scene. So, like, just no. Please, just don't. Uh, yeah, I mean, now he's bald and in prison, but maybe he's going to be serious now. I don't know. I don't care if it's his son or not. I didn't even know Lex Luthor had a son. Either way, I did not like him as Lex Luthor. Six, Jesse Eisenberg. Nope, just repeated his name. Nicholas Cage as Ghost Rider. Come on. 
Come on. Ghost Rider, he played Johnny Blaze, you know, the first Ghost Rider. Well, I mean, I guess you count the old one that rode around on a horse, but we're not, we're talking legit Spirit of Vengeance Ghost Riders. That guy, he, he's a badass. Nicolas Cage is not a badass. And he was always seeming to stutter, and he was always unsure, and he whined a lot. And he was not a convincing Johnny Blaze. He was annoying. I don't understand how he got two movies. I mean, honestly, I did not hate the movies. It's just, you know, a lot of the acting and, you know, effects weren't the best. But, it's, come on. Nicolas Cage is not Ghost Rider. Just stop. He's not. I don't know how this new guy's doing, but he's also being the uh, new one. What's his name? Robbie Reyes or something? I don't even know anything about him. Plus, I gotta catch up on Agent Shield, but... I'm sure he's doing better than what Nicolas Cage was doing. Because that was just, that was a no-no. Five, Topher Grace as Venom. <laughs> Come on. Eddie Brock, he's, you know, sometimes he's like a pal of Peter's, but then gets mad and becomes mean. But either way, Eddie Brock is like Brock, the name. I pick, he's a big guy. That's, you just know that by the name Brock. He's a big guy. He's muscular. He's played sports. He's tough. Tover Grace, all I see is Eric from that 70s show, Eric Foreman. That's all I'm seeing. Like, I'm ex half expecting Donna to show up and, you know, them do their fighting and then I love you, I hate you, you know, that crap. But, like, no. He was not Eddie Brock. He was too goofy and not, like, like Eddie Brock himself without Venom. Without the symbiote, scares me because he's a big, tough guy that looks down on me. But, like, Topher Grace, he ain't scaring me. Like, yeah, I'm not going to go fight him, but still, he's not, I'm not going to be scared of him. And then when he becomes Venom, Venom's a giant dude and his tongue's always out and crazy. Yeah, I'm scared of Venom. I'm not scared of that Venom. He's a, he's a pussy, okay? His tongue's barely out. His teeth, yeah, they're sharp, I guess. And, like, they have the Venom look, I guess. But it just, Venom's a big guy. You do not mess with Venom, okay? But that guy was not Venom. He was like, that would have been the correct size for like a Carnage, not Venom. Hold on. Sorry, friends. About to go grab a bite to eat. Hey, I eat a lot in these videos and talk about food. I, I, I mean, I do eat a lot, but I also don't. Like, I'm not, I'm not a pig, guys. So don't look at me like I'm some pig. Number four, Shaquille O'Neal as Steel? No! Come on, I don't understand why people started saying, okay, yeah, we need to get all these athletes to be in movies. Mm, the Rock's done pretty good at what he's done. Michael Jordan did good in Space Jam. Come on, just stop. We need to stop this. And <laughs> the acting was terrible. It looked like he was wearing a terrible cosplay. Like, it didn't even look like Steel. Like, it... It was just terrible. The movie was terrible. Shaq is one of the worst actors out there. And I don't understand why he did that. Like, was Shaq the guy from Kazam? If so, he should have stuck with that. He sucked in that movie. Steals this big, badass guy who's really kind also. You know what I mean? And just, Shaq didn't put off the badass vibe. He looked not scary. He looked like he was running late for a convention. His costume was just terrible. The effects were terrible. Acting was terrible. And honestly, I'd be, I don't know too much. Of, I don't know a lot about Steel, but it would be so cool to see him in the new DC Universe, you know, but obviously get a good black guy that can play him and do the part right. So, yeah. Number three, Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. Get to the job out. No. And his Mr. Freeze was just so, I mean, I understand those movies just went downhill and became super campy and just childish. The costume was good, honestly. It looked it looked like a Mr. Freeze costume. They got the origin and backstory and whatnot right. But the acting, why don't we chill out? We'll kill the dinosaurs. The Ice Age. No, stop it. Stop with the ice puns. Have a nice day. No, stop it. Stop it. You're just too goofy. He was choreographing like his little orchestra and whatnot at one point trying to teach him how to dance. No! You're supposed to be killing people! You're trying to save your wife! Stop dancing! We don't have time for that! Come on! Number two, Halle Berry's Catwoman. CGI in that movie was just... They just shit on that. That was... Oh my god. Power Rangers. The, more, the Zords in Power Rangers, the movie, was better than that. But, uh... No. Halle Berry, I don't even know... They... they 
she wasn't even Selena Kyle, so that was just pointless. Her costume was terrible. It was just the acting. Oh my god, the plot, the acting, the whole story, everything about that movie was terrible. Halle Berry should have just stuck to being Storm. I mean, she was an okay Storm, wasn't amazing. But she should have just stuck and stayed at Storm and not tried to become uh, Catwoman because that was just terrible. They completely, they just asked for the rights of like the name, I guess. They must have because they didn't use anything from her heard storylines or anything anything from the dc universe it was stupid and let's finish this off with number one bet everybody can guess it say it with me george clooney's batman yeah y'all knew it <laughs> i could see george clooney i guess he could play bruce wayne i mean i didn't really think he did a good bruce wayne in the movie or a good batman but like how george clooney is like before seeing that movie i could be like okay he can play bruce wayne I don't know about Batman, but Bruce Wayne, yeah. The bat nipples, everyone always gives it to him, but he didn't create the bat nipples. Val Kilmer's Batman had the first bat nipples. The bat nipples, those were terrible. He had the bat credit card, which would be impossible. You would not be able to use that because you're going to have to give your real name, your social, etc. Never leave home without it. Yeah, great product placement. Uh, all of his gadgets were goofy. His acting was terrible. His costume was terrible. The entire movie was terrible. All the characters casting, everything. I mean, when the director once likes to deny that movie, uh, George Clooney goes in front of the world and says, I'm sorry for that, Batman. Then, you know, it's terrible. And we should just give up on this stuff. It's not... I just don't want to see him doing anything like that again. That was just, that was terrible. And like their prosthetic lips crap. Oh my God. That was just, all right. Well, that's it. I'm, let me know if there's any people you think should have been on there and think they did a worse job. If some people, the order was the wrong way, you know, I'm sure everyone will agree with uh, George Clooney being number one, but yeah, you have any people you think should have been on the list, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, stay geeky.